Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of upcoming content, or I guess in this case, newly released content for the Animal Restaurant game. Currently in the English version, we are on release number 6.4.5. The Chinese version is currently one step ahead of us at 6.4.6. .6. But to start off today's new content, let's talk about the first new letter. This is Eggie's Diary 8. The combination for this letter is Red Rose, Bluebell, and Seeds. The next letter is going to be the Orca's letter. The combination for this letter is Daisy, Daisy, and more daisies. The final new letter for this update is the Salesman's Gift. We're not entirely sure how to get this letter, but we believe you just have to talk to the TV salesman person a few times and then you'll get this letter. This next list might seem a little bit overwhelming, but there are quite a few new vendors. I think 42 in total right now in the Chinese version and our version. I'm not going to go through and translate all of them. Feel free to take a screenshot and translate each individual character if you have questions about their particular requirements. Up next is a new interface exclusive to the Chinese New Year or Springtime Festival event. I believe this is a collection of memories from some character, not entirely sure, but every single day you can log in to collect an item or memory. After the second day you'll get an item, after the fifth day you'll get an item, and after the eighth day you'll get another item. After the second day, you'll unlock the first item, the rock garden. This will be able to go in the front of the main restaurant area, kind of near your front door to the right of it where the trees usually go. The second item, after having collected five memories, is the Chinese knot item. This is just a simple decoration that goes on the wall in your main restaurant. The final item which you receive after collecting all eight memories is, I believe it translates loosely to, like the big doll mask or the big doll head. Basically, it's just a mask that Apricot the Sweeper can wear. Up next is a new character. This is very similar to the Halloween pumpkin whatever person that throws out candy in the Halloween update, except this New Year's mouse will throw out red envelopes for your characters. They'll contain plates, cod, and fish hooks. Now we have the rascal. This little punk will run around your restaurant kicking your employees, spitting in the food in your kitchen, and allegedly stealing the red packets. Once you are able to interact with him, you can either discipline, which just means to shoo him away, or you can challenge him, saying, I bet I collected more cod from my red envelopes than you did. And then there's a chance that you'll either have more or less. If you exceed the rascal's quantity, you'll win a prize. Next, we have the rascal's dad. This character doesn't do too much other than interact with the rascal's mom, and they will yell at you for being mean to the rascal. Up next is the hot pot menu item. The requirement for this new food item is that you must have unlocked the vendor booth ice cream stall. They require either a squid or a starfish in the vendor sign. Also, you must have a minimum star rating of 18,000 stars. Up next, we've got the Sai Shi dumplings. The requirement for this dish is that you must have unlocked the booth owner, Taylor Liu, whose own requirements are that they prefer either the red puffer or the shark fish to be placed in the vendor sign. And the last new dish to be added in this update is the Fish of Abundance plate. The requirements for this dish are, you must have unlocked the booth owner, Stray Wild Panda, whose own requirements are either squid, crab, starfish, or red pufferfish to be placed in the vendor sign, and at least a 22,000 star rating. Okay, and that's everything from this newest update. This update came out surprisingly quickly. Usually, the updates take quite a bit longer to travel from the Chinese version to the international or English version of the game. I suppose they wanted to get all of the new content in while it was still relevant to the Spring Festival or Lunar New Year. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions about any of the new material presented in this video, just leave a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Anyway, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Thanks! Bye-bye!